Can you really build a quality website with no code? Previously, the options for a drag and drop website builder were limiting, but with newer options on the market like Wix Studio, Webflow, Framer, Bubble, and Elementor, I decided to compare them to see which one is best. To test each platform, I'll be using the in-house hosting plans they offer. Some platforms like Webflow and Elementor let you host your website anywhere you want, but I'll be sticking with Webflow and Elementor's hosting plans for simplicity. I should also mention that Elementor is a page builder for WordPress while the other platforms are proprietary, but there's enough similarities in Elementor to the other platforms that I thought it should be included in the comparison. Starting with the setup process, Wix Studio and Webflow have the easiest onboarding process, allowing you to choose from a wide variety of starter templates. Framer dumps you into a blank canvas, and while you can access a limited number of pre-made layouts, you can't import a starter site. Instead, you'll have to go to a separate templates marketplace, pick one you like, and the template will be copied to your account as a new site. Elementor's setup process is simple, especially if you're using Elementor hosting, but there aren't a ton of starter templates or website kits to pick from. Now, there's no shortage of WordPress themes that support Elementor, but in order to evaluate Elementor fairly, I'm going to stick with the stock Elementor experience using their hosting and theme. The setup process at Bubble leaves a lot to be desired. They don't present you with starter sites, and that's because Bubble is more of a no-code app builder than just a no-code website builder. The setup wizard uses AI to analyze your goals and give you tutorials on how to accomplish what you want. But since I'm using Bubble to make a website and not a complex SaaS app, I'd rather just pick from some starter templates. Bubble has a template marketplace similar to Framer, and you'll have to clone the template to a new project just like you do in Framer. After you get through the initial setup process, the page builder is what sets each of these platforms apart. They've all got a learning curve, but Wix Studio and Webflow's page editors offer a similar, easy to navigate interface. You can access elements and features in the left sidebar and styling settings for items in the right sidebar. Bubble has a similar layout, but everything is more complicated. That's because Bubble is capable of building no-code apps with backends that are more complex than the average website. Workello is a talent recruiting platform built entirely on Bubble, and other platforms either wouldn't be capable of building this site or they would require third-party extensions and add-ons to make it function. But regardless, I find Bubble's page editor cluttered and bland compared to the other options. Elementor simplifies things with one sidebar on the left to add new items and modify existing ones, and there's also a document overview that you can drag around the screen. Elementor has done a great job minimizing the amount of time you'll have to spend in the WordPress dashboard, but you'll still need to be comfortable navigating the rest of the WordPress interface to make certain changes or add plugins. If you choose to use Elementor and you've never used WordPress before, just understand that you're learning two platforms. WordPress and Elementor are a package deal. If you want a page builder entirely different from the other platforms, you might enjoy Framer. The page editor feels less like a website builder and more like Photoshop. This is immediately apparent because they display your website in various screen sizes in one view. It reminds me of Photoshop artboards, and I find it distracting. You can delete the breakpoints to clean up the interface, but every time you want to view your page on mobile, you have to manually add the breakpoints back. But with that being said, Framer's editor is simple and approachable, and it's one of the better editors I've used. Now, if you're managing your website by yourself, any of these platforms could be a good fit for you. But if you've got a team collaborating on the website, some platforms handle collaboration better than others. Wix Studio and Framer have of Google Docs style real-time collaboration, where multiple team members can be working on the same page at the same time. Webflow, Bubble, and Elementor will allow you to have multiple users on the account, and you can collaborate to some degree, but these platforms will lock users out of sections currently being edited by another user. This will prevent conflicts and make it easy to know who is working on what, but it limits the true collaborating you can really do. If you're building websites for clients, Wix Studio and Elementor have the best systems for getting client feedback. Wix Studio allows clients to leave comments on specific elements through a shared link without the need to log in. Elementor has a similar notes feature that allows clients to add comments on specific elements. The other platforms have systems in place for leaving comments, but they require you to add your client as a team member, and this may increase your monthly cost depending on your plan. 
Now, building your website is one step to launching your business, but how do you stay connected with your customers? It's easy to be reliant on social media to communicate with your customers, but if you wanna build a self-reliant business, you need to own your customer data. My recommendation is to create an email opt-in form on your website, but what do you do with these emails? That's where OmniSend, today's sponsor, can help. OmniSend is an SMS and email marketing solution that helps you increase sales and engagement. It's got everything you'd expect in an email marketing system, including a template library, a drag and drop newsletter builder, and campaign reports. But what really sets OmniSend apart is the automation. The campaign booster feature automatically resends emails that haven't been opened or clicked, and A-B testing helps you find the right messaging for success. OmniSend can be used with any website builder, and you can get started at the link in the description below. You can also use my promo code CRAILER30 for 30% off your first three months. Thanks to OmniSend for sponsoring this video, and now let's see how these website builders compare with CMS capability. You can use any of these platforms to build static websites. That just means you add your text directly on the page and the content never changes unless you edit the page. But what if you want a blog, portfolio, or other dynamic functionality on your website? That's where CMS collections come in. Webflow, Framer, and Wix Studio all have easy to set up CMS collections, which are basically databases you can set up with any fields you want. You can create a collection for blog posts, portfolio items, and team members. The possibilities are endless. These three platforms all make it easy to get started with blog posts, but I'd have to give the edge to Framer and Wix Studio since you get much more flexibility over content formatting within blog posts. Webflow doesn't let you change the color of your text or highlight it, and reordering images in your post is almost impossible. It's not the most intuitive in Wix Studio or Framer, but they at least let you drag images around and make make it clear where it will be dropped in your text box. Now, while Elementor doesn't have an interface to manage blog posts or other CMS content, this is what WordPress itself excels at. WordPress is hands down the best platform for blogging. The box editor goes above and beyond to give you as many options as possible in your posts, and there's a reason WordPress is the common platform of choice for blogs. However, WordPress doesn't have the native capability to create additional CMS collections like the other platforms. To access the same no-code database builder like the other platforms, you'll need to use a third-party plugin like Advanced Custom Fields. The core functionality of ACF is free, and you can build powerful, dynamic pages with Elementor. That's exactly what I did on my own website for my pages where I have my favorite product recommendations. I just have a custom post type that I made in ACF, and I use the loop grid block in Elementor to dynamically generate the page. Creating CMS collections in WordPress is more complex than some platforms, but it's not as complicated as Bubble. Bubble once again continues to be the most convoluted platform of the five. And while they support CMS collections, they don't have any templates to pick from. You'll have to design everything from scratch. And if you want a CMS collection for blog posts, you'll also want to build a page for you to create the blog post. This is because if you want to access text formatting and add images to your blog post, you can't add these in the database backend in Bubble. So you have to build a custom page so that you can add the formatting and upload images to be stored in the database. It's so complicated. If you want a comment section under your blog posts, WordPress and Wix Studio support this natively, but Webflow, Framer, and Bubble require third-party extensions to add this functionality. It's also important to consider how easy it is to export your data if you want to migrate to another platform down the road. WordPress, Webflow, Wix Studio, and Bubble let you export database contents to a CSV file. For some reason, Framer hasn't added this functionality yet, so you'd have to manually copy and paste all the data to switch platforms. All five platforms have features to help with search engine optimization. To customize your SEO title and description on dynamic items like a blog post, you'll need to create fields for the SEO items in your CMS collection, then reference variables in the blog post's page type. This concept is is the same across Webflow, Wix Studio, Framer, and Bubble. In WordPress, you'll want to use a third-party plugin like Yoast SEO. 
If you are planning on using CMS collections in Webflow, you'll have to pay more to access it. The base plans for each website builder are between $15 and $20 a month, with Bubble being the most expensive at $30 a month. All of these plans include CMS functionality except for Webflow, and if you want to use CMS collections in Webflow, the base plan goes up to $23 a month. It's also worth noting that Framer has a light plan called Framer Mini for $5 a month that does not include CMS collections and is restricted to one gigabyte of bandwidth. Most websites will want to use the basic plan, but Framer Mini could could be a good option for those on a budget. I also want to note that the pricing for Elementor includes both WordPress hosting and an Elementor Pro license through Elementor Hosting. You could purchase an Elementor Pro license separately for $59 a year, but you'll have to bring your own WordPress hosting. And speaking of WordPress hosting, if you choose Elementor, you have full control to move your WordPress site to any web host at any time. But with the other four platforms, you'll be relying on them to host it. So how do these platforms handle higher traffic? Traffic sites. Webflow, Framer, and Bubble all rely on Amazon Web Services, giving them a robust, infinitely scalable solution to handle higher traffic sites. Wix Studio combines the power of AWS, Google Cloud Platform, Fastly, and its own data centers to bring a 99.98% uptime. And finally, Elementor Hosting uses Google Cloud Platform, though with Elementor and WordPress, you can use any web host you'd like. If you're looking for a simple yet powerful drag and drop website builder, go with Wix Studio. It has the best balance of ease of use, features, and value. If you're a designer and you want your website builder to feel more like a Photoshop document, give Framer a try. Framer could also be a good option for those on a tight budget thanks to the generous Framer mini plan. And if you're building a blog or you want complete control over where your website is hosted, use Elementor. As for the other two, well, Webflow is very similar to Wix Studio and I think equally powerful. I gave the edge to Wix Studio because the rich text editor in the CMS is more capable than Webflow, but overall they're similar. When it comes to Bubble, I wouldn't recommend it unless you're tech savvy and want to build an app. For websites and blogs, you'd be better off using any of the other platforms. But regardless of the platform you choose, you should always take the time to communicate with your customers. I'll have OmniSend linked below, and remember to use my promo code to get 30% off your first three months. Now, as you may have noticed, Elementor is quite a bit different than the other platforms because it's powered by WordPress. So if you want a deeper dive on what makes WordPress so different from Webflow or other no-code builders, check out this video here.